Good morning, everyone. This is Anna Chapman, and I am the Business Development Management at Innovo USA. I am based in the USA, currently in sunny Florida. First of all, I would like to thank SOSH, which is the Society of Occupational Safety and Health, for providing us the opportunity to join here today so we can add value to the amazing work SOSH is already doing in Saudi Arabia. Let me take the opportunity and introduce one of the key members of SOSH. He is a very dynamic personality. He is an engineer, he has an MBA, he also offers 18 plus years of experience in safety developing policies and implementing crisis and disaster management tools for a Saudi electric company. He serves as a board director on one of the OSH organizations in Saudi Arabia. He is also a writer in the Makar newspaper. I'm sure you're all excited to hear from him. So let's welcome engineer Fahad Abdullah. Over to you, Fahad. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, Mr. Abdullah. Thank you, Imran. And thank you all for all uh, these participants and this night event. I think it's um, Yani, uh, at the beginning, we want to, to note that this seminar is uh, the first uh, successful relationship with Enofo. And uh, we believe this partnership will continue for more successes in the area of equational safety and health in the future. Uh, before, uh, really before this seminar, uh, Yani, to begin, uh, just we want um, uh, to like to talk about five minutes uh, about uh, Saudi Occupational Safety and Health Association in terms of future direction and project. And uh, yani our uh, cons uh, conversation will be by Arak. Then the, will, the mic will be uh, yani, uh, toward to our friends from uh, Enofo Brazil. I have just a um, uh, presentation if, can, if you can give me uh, the authority to just to present my uh, presentation. Lal, can you make uh, Fahad the, the co-host, please? Yeah, please. Yeah, it's done. Uh, Imran, kindly turn off your screen so that he can start. Yep. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, uh, as we say, just for five minutes, we will talk by Arabic to our uh, Saudi audience. Then uh, we will uh, finish and uh, transform to an offer of Brazil. Today, uh, Akhwan, Allah yatikum al-aafiyah, wa shukran lakum ala khuburkum. Wa haqiqa buwadana, anna bas na'arif an jamiyyat al-salam al-sahah al-mahaniyya, yani, li, uh, yani, qamat bil-ta'awam ma'a sharikat al-Ufa min ajil, yani, hadhi al-seminar. حتى أن يكون في صورة واضحة عنها في ما تقدم إن شاء الله في المستقبل ويمكن تكونون أحد المستفيدين لكثير من الخدمات اللي ممكن تقدمها الجمعية تقريبا أنشأت في بداية السنة هذه أو يعني تقل أو تكثر بشهر أو شهرين وهي تعتبر يعني أول جمعية تعاونية في مجال السلام والصحة المهنية وتقريبا خدماتها موجهة لهذا المجال بكافة أنواع بما يندرج فيها أيضا مجال الحريق حقيقة هدفنا ورؤيتنا أن يكون في ريادة في مجال السلام والصحة المهنية وتكون مؤسسة مجتمع مدني تخدم بلدنا المعطاء هذا في في جانب السلام والصحة المهنية هناك خطط استراتيجية كثيرة على المستوى القريب والبعيد ولكن تركيزنا في المدى الاستراتيجي البعيد حيكون على خمس مجالات فيما يتعلق بالتدريب والاستشارات والابتكارات وأيضا عضوية الأفراد والشركات وأيضا كيف يكون الجمعية تكون منصة لها توظيفية في مجال السلام والصحة المهنية فيما يتعلق يعني في التدريب يعني كما تعرفون خدمات التدريب الآن أصبحت يعني مهمة جدا للقطاعين سواء الخاص أو الحكومي خدمات تكون كبيرة جدا تقدمها يعني الجمعية وتقريبا هذه أول خدمة بدينا فيها لا من ناحية وجود المقر الموجود الآن في الرياض وأيضاً المجالات اللي سوف يكون فيها التدريب سواء من خلال مجالات اللي هي على المدرسة البريطانية أو المدرسة في النيبوش أو البي سي اس بي 
او فيما يتعلق بالايزو وكذلك برنامج الكوادر الوطنيه من وزاره الموارد البشريه والتنميه الاجتماعيه وما يتعلق بسلامه العمليات والبرامج المتعلقه ايضا بمكافحه الحريق وجميع تفصيلاتها. المشروع الثاني حيكون تقريبا في مجال الاستشارات وطبعا مجال بحث كبير جدا وحتكون ايضا يتفرع من خلال اللي هي ايزو برامج الايزو برامج الحمايه من الحريق وايضا برامج السيفتي مانجمنت سيستم بكل ما يتعلق فيها سواء من ناحيه فنيه او من ناحيه اداريه وايضا من المشاريع اللي نستهدفها على المستوى القريب حيكون لدينا ايضا اللي هو مجال الابتكارات او خاصه في مجال السلامه والصحه المهنيه مجال رحب كبير جدا لن يكون في مجال ابتكارات وايضا في حاجه ماسه لن يكون هناك جهه ترعى هذا الجانب في هذا البلد الكريم باذن الله قريبا ستعلن يعني اليات اوليات فيما يتعلق للافراد او ايضا حتى للشركات في الجمعيه حتى يكون هناك نوع من الديناميكيه في التفاعل تجاه يعني الخدمات اللي نقدمها في هذا البلد الكريم في الاخير حيكون ايضا لدينا يعني توجه فيما يتعلق بقضيه دعم التوطين والتوظيف في مجال السلامه والصحه المهنيه الان يعني كما تعلمون مع يعني المشاريع الكبيره اللي تقوم بها الوزاره من ناحيه التوطين ووظائف السلامه فهناك حاجه ماسه لان يكون هناك جهات متخصصه تدعم هذا يعني تدعم الرؤيه 2030 تدعم قضيه التوطين في جميع المنشات سواء في المجال يعني في القطاع الخاص او العام في الاخير يعني في الاخير انا يعني نحب ان نؤكد على انه هذه يعني يمكن اول سيمينار وباكوره لنا في يعني السيمينارات اللي تكون باذن الله حتكون بشكل شهري يعني نرجو منكم ان تفعلوا يعني الاشتراك في يعني عنوان الجمعيه في تويتر حتى انه يصلكم كل جديد بما يتعلق باذن الله في المحاضرات او السيمينارز او حتى بعض احيان الدورات والاعلانات المتعلقه بالتوظيف. شكرا لكم واشكر لكم حضوركم. And thank you عمران thank you انا and now the mic to be my with my friend عمران to introduce himself and start the lecture. Thank you very much and sorry to take this time for Arabic language. Thank you. Thank you brother. Uh, uh, the only thing is that you know uh, I cannot. Uh, my Arabic starts uh, starts with the kaifa uh, hala and ends with the you know alhamdulillah and uh, other things. So you know uh, uh, in the middle I mix up with the shukran, jazakallah, and alhamdulillah. All these things. That's my Arabic. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, well. Um, welcome everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Good morning. Good night. Wherever you are, it looks like we we got a we got a lot of people, close to seventy five people here, and uh, uh, from all over the uh, globe, I should say. Uh, I welcome everybody, and uh, I'm really very humbly uh, wants to wants to thank uh, uh, Sosh, you know, uh, Society of Occupation Safety and Health Saudi Arabia. I'm very thankful to uh, the brother Abdullah Al Gamdi and brother uh, Fahad Al Zarani. Uh, they have been <coughs> time. They have been our uh, communication for a while. So we are here. Uh, idea here is to um, to create awareness about safety. I strongly believe uh, in a uh, in a in a in a verse from a Quran that says, "You save one life, you save a humanity." You, know, you you take one life, you take in a in a life of humanity. So that's what the belief is. Honestly, I know this this is the education side, the academic side, and the business side to it as well. But safety is a very critical part, and uh, I'm I'm humbly to be part of the this organization. They they asked us to come and create awareness here, uh, definitely in Saudi Arabia and wherever our voice can go. And we are here as a professional want to see where can we add a value. Uh, to Shah specifically, and uh, in in Saudi Arabia or anywhere in the in the Gulf region or any other world, where Shah has a leverage or something where they can help, they can coordinate, they can arrange uh, things, and we we as a professional can see what can do. And obviously, there's a, uh, other things we can talk about as well. But uh, 
Um, uh, that's, uh, uh, I'm going to start now. I think it's been already in 10, 15 minutes. Uh, thank you, Anna, for introducing uh, uh, Brother Fahad Zahrani. Very nicely you did. And uh, let me bring on board with me uh, our, uh, our uh, core team, one of the core team member. Uh, he's stationed in Pakistan, uh, Bilal Jinani. Um, so uh, Bilal, just, uh, just say Assalamu alaikum to everybody and then we will start. Thank you. Sure, welcome, uh, Imran. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So, me and Imran are here as uh, your co trainer and facilitator. Thank you. Please proceed. Thank you. As uh, uh, you all can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the uh, agenda for today. The meeting we've already have taken care of a few items uh, already. Uh, speaker's introduction is done by Anna and brother uh, Lamdiz and brother uh, uh, Al Zahrani has done an introduction on Sash as well. And uh, we're, we're going to jump in directly into uh, uh, the meet for the startup with the, with the meeting rules. Please uh, keep your uh, video on and mic muted if, if possible. And of course, you're going to have a lot of we. we this, I mean, there's a no limit on this session. We're here as long as you guys can tolerate us. So it's not like we're in a rush or something. We are here to uh, uh, to give you guys information or answer whatever questions you have, specifically on BCSP uh, certifications, ASP, CSP, CHST, CIT, and a few others, and on generally anything related to a certification, certificates, or in a bigger domain, anything related to HSE. We are here for that, but we try to stick with the BCSP. Uh, Somebody is not not muted. I would say, please, uh, everybody check that uh, uh, mute everybody because we did that. So I'm going to unmute, unmute myself. Um, um, so we, uh, I'm not going to talk too much about uh, the company we represent. It's going to be very quickly what we can do. We represent uh, Anova USA. Uh, we are a, a, a occupational health and safety global recognized company. We are based in USA. Our office is in uh, UK and uh, in Pakistan and uh, um, a few other regions coming up as well. So I'm not going to go too much into details. It's information available everywhere on the, on the website and uh, social media. Now, services that we do, we provide training services, we provide professional services, auditing, advisory, consultancy services, anything that relates to uh, um, HSE, consultancy, and all these things, okay? So very precision, very quick. So these are our focus areas. I'm just gonna spend probably only 30 minutes on this screen, uh, 30 seconds on this screen. Uh, obviously this, this uh, webinar is about the BCSP certification. This is one of our, one of our core uh, uh, product. Uh, we provide ASP, CSP, CRSC, CRT, SMS, all those type BCF certifications, their exam prep. And we also do uh, NFPA certifications exam prep as well. The famous one is the CSCP uh, and the CFPS, we do that as well. Um, our, um, we have our own diploma program, which is recognized by uh, uh, Columbia Southern University uh, in US is recognized by them. And I'll talk more about it in, uh, towards the end of the screen. Of course, we OSHA is uh, in our specialty. I'm OSHA outreach trainer as well. So we do that. Uh, Balal is the uh, region's one of one of the few uh, NFPA certified pers personnel uh, professionals who are who are certified from three, three boards, from NFPA, from BCSP, from IOS, from HIPE. So it's pretty, pretty diverse background. So, you know, we're glad to have uh, Balal on our team. I mean, we, as you're going to see further, I will show my team, we are big on HASWA process safety management. ISO is our strength as well. And all the small minor trainings, you know, uh, we're not going to go into too much detail, but we do uh, basically all these things. These are the other trainings we do. I'll be very quick. I normally don't talk that fast, but the idea is not to spend too much time on the, uh, on the, on the company here. So this screen, I'm going to take a time because this screen has to has to relate something towards the end of the thing that we do give give scholarship. This was a scholarship we did uh, in a peak of pandemic. A lot of professionals were losing their job, so we gave these two scholarship. Uh, um, one 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 participant was from India, one was from Pakistan, 
and we'll talk, talk more towards the end of the presentation because- uh, we'll... Doctor, please uh, try again page eight or, or nine. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come back by then later yeah. on. Uh, yeah. If we can now just proceed and we leave the uh, question toward the end. Uh, yes, please. So, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. Anybody has a question, please put it in the question marks. Yeah, we put it yeah, in the yeah. uh, chat box. Uh, and we have Rakan Al Abedan mm -hmm. here with us, and he's, uh, he's, he's registering all the questions related uh, to this event and or any other questions as well. And he will come back to you. Definitely, yeah. definitely. No problem. Any questions, put it there. Yeah. We will come back to that. So, this uh, towards the end of, you know, I would bring to this uh, slide again. We are also giving one scholarship today to one participant, and uh, we'll, we'll talk more as we go. Okay. Uh, this is me. I'm not going to talk more too much about myself. You know, this is our team. You heard about Anna and, you know, uh, Huma and all these things. Uh, these are, uh, I mean, we are not only just a uh, couple of people here. We are obviously a couple of people representing here. But we have a whole big team. You know, these are the, the cream of the crop in Pakistan that is uh, on uh, in our team. You know, Kashif Rashid and Raja, some very high level, high level professionals. And same as in uh, uh, ISO is, you know, Jawad Akhtar, Anwar Chaudhary, all these things. And this is our office team. And uh, also we have a board of directors as well, you know, who oversees everything. And uh, we actually have a meeting right after this meeting, the last day of the month we have meetings. So, you know, people, you know, try to keep an eye on us what we're doing. So we have professionals from UK, professionals from Pakistan and professionals from the US, all of them, okay. This is, uh, I mean, um, we are very humble uh, uh, and honored that BCSP uh, recognized both me and Bilal as a, as a mentor for uh, 2021. And Bilal was also a mentor for last year as well. So, you know, uh, we, we were humbly, it's, a, it's an honor for us. It's a, it's a privilege for us to be associated at this level with the organization like a BCSP. Uh, now, let's come to the gist of the presentation. We're going to talk today specifically with the, uh, you know, uh, uh, certification of BCSP. BCSP has a pretty wide spectrum of uh, certification. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit, then I'm going to ask Bilal to explain uh, in, in the depth. He does it very well, so I'm, there's a couple of slides. He does it very well, so I'm going to ask him to jump in. But right now, BCSP is the famous certification, which one is, I would say, the gold certification, one of the top certification in the world, but not only I'm saying top, it's just because I'm from US or we have that. I mean, other international global boards like uh, IOSH and NEBOSH recognize the CSP certification, the CSP as well in a, in, in a very high honor. Once you have CSP, those organizations open a lot of doors with it, okay? Uh, I recently became a, a registered environmental professional with the US uh, registry and uh, uh, one of, uh, one of the thing was uh, I was able to uh, get that because I am a CSP and you know the masters and everything else as well. Is uh, Balan? If somebody has access, who can write on my screen? Because I see people are writing on my screen. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, this mark is not from you. No, it's not from me. Okay, kindly what? just clear your screen. Uh, I see if I can stop that from the setting. Yes. Yeah, I have somebody doing it, so. Okay, we're gonna continue, no problem. So, you know, uh, that's why, you know, the BCS CSP is a very high, uh, uh, you know, certification in a, in a HSE world. And in order to become CSP, you need to have an ASP and there is a other routes that you can take to, to get qualified for the CSP, which, you know, further down the slides will, will show you the whole process. What else can you do besides ASP to get qualified for the CSP? And then of course, SMS, the site safety management specialist, we're gonna talk more detail, uh, more in, in more detail. And then uh, OSH, uh, OSH, Occupational Hygiene Safety Technician, CHST is another big one. If you're specifically in a construction industry and you're looking for a safety, the CHS and you don't have a college degree or you, you know very comfortable with the you know some applied sciences or mathematics, then CHST is a nice one. You know, especially it's very popular in US and especially big cities. A lot of big cities like New York, Chicago, and all those things give you some um, extra privilege as a superintendent or as a as site safety coordinator once you have the a CHST certification. Uh, then for the trainers. 
a certified train supervisor, that's a nice one as well. If somebody in the training field of the, you know, the, in the supervisory lower end of the management, then there's a for training supervisor. And then the nice one, the next one is the CIT, you know, which is a certified instructional training. That's a new one. And we'll talk more about it, you know, what, what uh, uh, the, you know, the depth of it, okay? Uh, the training types of certifications, mostly what BCSP does is they kind of divide that into a, a four wider categories. Uh, one is for the professional high level management, you know, the real professionals. Another one is uh, for the management people who are in management like SMS and SDS, all those type of certification. Another one is the technician slash supervisor. Some people, not everybody has a college degree. If you don't have a college degree and you have a lot of experience, then what do you do? Then other certification, they, are, they have a mix of those certification as well. We can help to, to, uh, to get certified and we can do some credential uh, enhancement. And obviously one for the training. Training is, I think, is a bigger part of it is missing from all those organizations for a long time. And BCSP has taken an initiative introducing the STSC and STS and CIT especially, which is specifically for the trainers, specifically for the people who are in charge of conveying messages in probably HR, probably in HSE, probably in operation. So this, those trainings are divided into certain categories, okay? Uh, professional certification designations. Uh, let me ask uh, uh, Bilal to jump in at this time because uh, Bilal, can you explain a few more slides, please, on my behalf? Yeah, sure. So, uh, thanks, Imran. First, Imran has listed uh, the complete list of BCSP certifications. Now, moving on, uh, we can say that uh, these certifications are technically different. So actually we are talking about that technical difference. So first of all, talking about CSP and ASP, uh, we can say that these are the top certifications, especially the CSP one. Uh, uh, some systems also uh, uh, call it the gold certification because it is accepted by all the boards as one of the best one. And then ASP is its pre prerequisite, uh, or we can say the middle management one. So that's why we say that CSP and ASP are the top certifications or the professional certifications. Then we have two more names here, uh, TSP and GSP. Remember TSP and GSP are designations, not certifications. Uh, Sometimes we see that people uh, represent them as certification, but uh, you should know that these are designations, not certifications. Now, what the designation means? Designation means uh, that as we know that for CSP, you need some prerequisite, some qualifying credential. Uh, so how BCSP is allowing that through designation, uh, some boards uh, uh, cover the ASP content in their diploma program and they present their diploma program or professional qualification to BCSP. Uh, to accept it as the uh, direct eligibility uh, qualification for the CSP. So in that way, they uh, uh, ask for the ASP waiver, or we can say ASP exemption. So their diploma is basically designated there uh, because they, they have already covered the ASP content in their particular diploma. So that's why it's called designation. It's not the certification, but you are getting the advantage of direct CSP eligibility. And uh, you can log on to BCSP website, you can go into the TSP tab where you can see the list of all those diplomas which are accepted by BCSP in the TSP designation. Similarly, GSP is gradu graduate safety professional. So it is for the university degree programs, like it can be a bachelor degree program or any masters or a PhD program, but that program must be safety or environment related and what happens that that particular university includes the uh, ASP uh, blueprint or their syllabus uh, into their uh, degree program and get the approval of BCSP showing that they have already covered the ASP content into that. So in that way, that degree program get, des gets designated uh, for the direct CSP eligibility, but still both of them are designations, not the certifications. So next slide, slide please.
Yes, Imran, please, next slide. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I'm looking at the chat, so. Yeah. And then moving on, so we can say that CSP, ASP, TSP, GSP are the professional certifications. Then SMS is a very interesting one. It is called a safety management certification. Uh, one thing we must note is that uh, for ASP and CSP, you must have at least 15 years or 16 years education that is called bachelors according to the US system. Uh, but we know uh, that there are many professionals in the safety field uh, who, who do not have the uh, education, unfortunately, due to any reason, but they have very extensive safety experience. So BCSP recognizes their experience with this certification that is called safety management specialist. So that's why it's called safety management certification because it is to acknowledge those people who don't have the higher education, but they have a very good safety experience. So that's why uh, the people having this certification are considered as the advisors to the company heads or the CSPs. We, we will see that in the circle coming up where the BCSP shows the relationship between all these certifications. So next, please. Yeah. And then the next level is we can say uh, some specialized category of the certifications, which is actually uh, related with some specific job like OHST is related with the occupational hygiene and safety. CHST is related with the construction, construction health and safety technician like Imran is there. He started his BCSP journey from CHST, then ASP and then CSP because he has a very good experience in construction. And then safety trained supervisor and safety trained supervisor construction uh, are, uh, we can say relatively the most easiest certifications from BCSP because they are for uh, the workers at the field who are doing their effort as the supervisor or as the low level worker and they are trying to play their role uh, to develop the safety culture. Uh, so that's why we can say that these four certifications are under the technician and supervisor category. Next. Yes, sir. Yeah, last but not the least, CIT, Certified Instructional Trainer. So this certification from BCSP uh, comes under the training category. And uh, uh, in fact, we are already uh, conducting a batch on uh, CIT. Uh, many students are there. And uh, I would say that this is a very specialized certification for all those people who are involved in uh, not only in the safety training, but they are working as trainer in any capacity. Uh, the reason is because uh, uh, we see few train the trainer courses. Uh, but those train the trainer courses are first of all two day or three day courses one thing the second thing is that those courses focus only on the communication skills part uh, when you look into the cit content you would you would come to know that training is not all about only communication skills in fact it is a very limited part you have to have the course design skills course development verification, implementation, assessment, evaluation, then training management, training theories, training psychology, understanding the psychology of the people, uh, like that is very important. So uh, CIT is a very good certification which teaches you all these aspects and you can really uh, uh, add a lot of value in your capacity as a trainer. Uh, so all the people who are working in the safety, uh, most of the time they have to deal with the training. So that's why this CIT certification is very much useful for them. And we can say that it's coming under that training category. Right, so uh, this these are actually right now the active figures uh, from the BCSP against all the certifications and the couple of designations. So we can see that uh, CSPs are at the top, the certified CSPs. Then there are a lot of CHSTs because many people are there in the construction industry. 
Uh, a lot of other designations are there, but still CSP is at the top. And the reason uh, for CSP being at the top is that uh, we'll see that in the coming slides that people are uh, achieving the CSP through multiple pathways, right? Because uh, ASP is one of the way uh, to get the prerequisite qualification and proceed to CSP, but there are some other qualifications uh, through which you can uh, achieve the CSP path, but still uh, ASP is the best one if you have not uh, invested on other paths yet, yet, because the reason is that uh, the pattern of ASP and CSP are quite similar. So, and uh, under the same board. So a lot of convenience uh, uh, adds if, if you choose the ASP pathway. Next, sir. So as we just mentioned, uh, this cycle is telling us the relationship of all these certifications. Uh, it's, it's telling us very well, CSPs are at the top. So they have to play that strategic planning role. Uh, as we said that SMS are there with their experience. So they are giving advices or advisory to the CSPs. So both of them are in the strategic role. ASP are there in the middle management. They are, uh, they are gaining more and more experience to become CSPs in the coming future. Uh, people coming up with the TSP and GSP, uh, they are also in the middle management role. CHST and OH, OHST are the technical experts for the occupational hygiene and construction. CIT are the expert trainers. And STS and STSC are there to connect all these certificates to, uh, we, we can say, uh, give the oxygen or the blood circulation to the safety culture in any organization. Uh, so uh, comparing uh, it to some uh, company or some big firm in the US uh, to some other part of the world, uh, we can say that in, in a certain US company, there are a lot of people with these certifications working in the safety. So they really connect in this way uh, to uh, play their role in the safety culture with their uh, competency. Uh, but what we are trying, we are trying to transfer this competency level to some other parts of the world as well. And uh, I think we, we have gained some success uh, in the, the last few years in that. So hopefully uh, this scientific relationship between these certificates uh, would be carried uh, to some other parts of the world as well, uh, because we are doing our effort and uh, we are happy that we are now supported by some good partners as well like SOSH. So uh, with this, um, Imran, uh, you want me to continue or I can give it to you? Uh, to you. Uh, you, you continue, you, you continue. I'll, I'll jump in later on, you continue. Okay, okay. Uh, moving on, uh, let's try to understand that what's the certification process. Uh, first of all, uh, as, as we have seen that there are many certifications, and I think most of you uh, in this session uh, your target would be ASP and CSP because most of you are the qualified people, uh, highly qualified people and experienced people. But still, if you are not qualifying for the ASP or CSP, don't lose your heart because there are a lot of good other credentials for you as well. Imran, uh, we cannot see the slides. Uh, some picture is there on the display. Yeah, please. Uh... Yeah, if can you can you run the slideshow from the glass on the bottom, I think it would be better. No, we, we are seeing your desktop now. How about now? Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry. It's okay. Okay, uh, so what I was saying is that if you are not eligible for ASP or CSP, then uh, SMS can be there for you. CHST can be there for you if you are working in the construction industry, especially those people who don't have the education, but they have some good experience. And uh, CIT is always there for all the people working in the training. So that education constraint is only there for the ASP and CSP. Otherwise, for all the other certifications, uh, BCSP is honoring your experience. So if we talk about the certification process, uh, the first step is that you decide your certification that which certification uh, you want to choose. 
in the next step you will check your eligibility because we have listed that on our website as well uh, in overusa.com and you can see that on the source bcsp website as well that you will go into the credentials tab you will click on the certification and in each certification or credential you can clearly see its eligibility we have also displayed that on our website very well uh, so you will check your eligibility and you will decide that which certification you are going to start okay the next step a uh, one very common question uh, from the students is that enrolling in bcsp is uh, like some br other british bodies uh, like iosh or nibosh or maybe some other bodies where there is some licensed institute and you have to apply for the credential through that institute uh, the good thing about bcsp is that they are not treating the individuals through some institutes every individual is entertained directly by bcsp right although the mentors or the institutes like us we are there to guide we are there to facilitate but the system is there where you will directly apply online into bcsp so when you will go on the bcsp website you will see on the right top the button uh, my profile you will click on the my profile uh, first it will provide you the option to create your account once your account is there you will log on into that and then you can start your application so there is a certain process to complete every application which is graphical and quite self explanatory we provide a lot of support in that as well uh, so cutting long story short you will submit your application and submitting the application means that you will uh, submit all the sections of the application online on the bcsp side one and second you will pay the fees of the application uh, the fees of the application for most of the certification is uh, 160 us dollar uh, it's a little bit low for some of them, but mostly you will see the figure of 160 US dollars, especially for ASP, CSP, SMS, CIT, and CHST. Then in the next step, uh, BCSP will evaluate your application after the submission. And uh, after that, once they approve your application, you will get the update in your account. You will get the official email as well that you are approved for the exam and once you are approved from that date you have one year one calendar year eligibility uh, for that approval so you have to appear in the exam uh, within that one year so uh, what's the process to appear in the exam uh, you have to pay the exam fee which is most of the time 350 us dollar for most of the certifications so you will pay that exam fees a bcsp will authorize the exam to you and uh, then you will be able to create your account on pearson vue p a r s o n vue uh, it is a very famous computer based exam center so you will create your account there uh, their centers are there uh, in uh, all the major cities so don't worry about that so once you are ready for the exam you will uh, book your slot in the Pearson UE exam center and you will go there and the exam uh, screening procedure is just like like most of uh, you have I think appeared in the GRE TOEFL or IELTS exam where you go into the center uh, with your passport with your ID with all the scanning and all the stuff and you sit on their computer and there is a remote connection where you can where you conduct your exam so quite similar is the procedure uh, in the BCSP. So that's why the quality is there, transparency is there, control is there. If you have passed the exam, only you have passed the exam. There is no one else who has passed the exam on your behalf. So that's why uh, the quality and reliability is there. And once you have passed the exam, then you have to maintain the certification. When we say maintain the certification, it has two meanings. One you have to pay every year its renewal fee uh, you can consider it as the annual rental for your professional development uh, anything you can uh, get from that but you have to pay some fee every year 
for some uh, certifications it's 170 dollar for some it's 180 dollar uh, uh, you can see that from the chart for each certification for csp in fact it's 180 for asp it's 170 so you have to pay that uh, uh, annual renewal fee for your loft for your lifetime uh, uh, till the time you want to maintain the certification and the second thing is that your certification uh, once you are certified your cycle of the certification is valid for five years okay so after five years you have to show your recertification points the recertification points means that you have to show your activities during the last five years that can include the training uh, the more trainings you have achieved the more certifications you have done uh, the tvts you have conducted at your site so you have to maintain all that record and uh, more important, you should have the CEUs, continuous educational units. So many uh, American universities and bodies, when they provide the training, they provide you the uh, CEU balance as well, or the CEU credit as well. And uh, in fact, that good news is coming up uh, in, in the next slides. So we are also now uh, affiliated with an American university to provide that. So the point is that you have to maintain uh, your continual professional development through those activities, through those CEUs, and you have to uh, report all those activities to BCSP at, at the fifth year, showing that you have not only certified, but you have also maintained the development curve of that certification. Uh, so that's very important uh, to be in the game, to be always in the game. And if you don't do that, then BCSP will ask you to reappear in the exam. Definitely the exam after five years would be much harder, much updated. So you have to be in the game, you have to be updated to pass that, okay? Uh, one more thing before your question, I can add that, that if, if you fail the exam, what will happen? If you fail the exam, you have to pay $350 again uh, for the next attempt. Uh, with the gap of almost like uh, eight weeks this one and a half month uh, provided that your eligibility period is still valid if your eligibility period is getting expired you have to pay additional hundred dollar to get another one year eligibility so these are few technical details uh, you have to spend some more time on our videos and on our website uh, to understand those details so uh, this is the uh, page which looks like uh, to create your profile on the BCSP website. Uh, moving on. Next slide, sir. Uh, yeah, let me just jump sure. in here. So this is, a, I think, a very, very nicely Blal explained the, the, pre the previous slide with all the processes. It's a, it's sometimes it does get a bit cumbersome process um, over the years of our experience with the dealing with the BCSP. Some applicants get uh, uh, approval you know, easily, some are difficult, but we have a, a good relationship with the BCSP. You know, we do help a lot of people with this. And we also provide services on that side as well. If you don't want to have uh, anything to do to yourself and you can go through us and then we there'll be a seamless process for you until you have to take the exam basically, okay? So eligibility requirement, that's a, we are, I call it when rubber hits the road, they see, where is your education or training experience comes into play? Then your experience in safety or what are the certification they're asking for? And then obviously the examination you have to pass. The Bilal kind of mentioned that a bit, what a difference between BCSP and other you know, boards like, I don't want to name anything, but a few other boards, which give you certificate on basis of some work you have done. But BCSP or American system is a bit different. They want you to go through their cumbersome blueprint process, cumbersome references, and then go and take an exam of five, six hours. That's why CSP is, is called the gold certification in HSC and it's top notch. And all other boards like IOSH and the Bosch accept that just because the credibility of it, just because the, the skill set and you know the the the, the uh, I mean uh, credibility you get after getting CSP is just a humongous. Uh, so in order to get to um, uh, CSP, you have uh, uh, two requirements. You must pass uh, uh, exams or, and maintain the um, uh, certification. Or in the next screen, you can see when you say ASP waiver, either you pass ASP, just like Bilal mentioned, 
and get to CSP, or there are about six, seven waivers that BCSP can give you. So you don't have to take the ASP. You can directly take the exam of CSP if you qualify with the other requirements. But here is the trick. We're doing this for a long time and for, for years, okay? Um, I, the, I, in our personal experience, the best track is to go through ASP and then do CSP. Because honestly speaking, 40% of the CSP is basically ASP exam. So if you, are, if you have to still tackle the CSP exam, you rather want to tackle the ASP first and get that you know, 40, 50% out of your way. And now you go to CSP where you have to only deal with the 50% of the rest of the stuff. The blueprints <clears throat> are very technically designed. They are kind of synced into each other. So that's why our prep course and other prep people prep course comes in a very handy because you know it, it's it, the, both ASP and uh, uh, the CSP very much synced in. Is only the the exam technique is a bit different. ASP is more towards the technical side of it, whereas CSP is more towards the application scenario management strategic, strategic side of it. So we you know we train people in how to tackle that. But this is the we just want to mention you. There's a way you can get to uh, other training as well. So a CSP uh, requirement, minimum academic requirement is you need to have a, a bachelor degree or in, in US bachelor degree is a 16 years of education, 16 years of education uh, at least. Uh, and then for CSP, you need to have a four years of experience. And out of that four years, 50% of the experiences needs to be in a safety and uh, in some sort of a management and some sort of uh, safety duties and preventive measures then that you need to have in 50% of that. Examination, of course, we have to pass the, the ASP or get approved for equivalent. We next screen is gonna talk about it. What are those equivalent exams there? And obviously um, American system and both of other systems are very big on ethics. I mean, you do any infraction, you do anything that their code of conduct uh, doesn't allow you, believe it or not, they will cancel your credential like a heartbeat. So they are very, they're huge on that, okay? So just, just bear that in mind. So this slide is a bit interesting. I'm not gonna go too much in detail, but just you can see that when I talk about the, the ASP waivers, that there are routes that you can take and don't have to go through ASP, go directly CSP. But believe me, that's gonna be a, a tough route because you'll be paying too much money to these organizations, which I mentioned, their fees and everything. And then it takes time as well. And end of the day, you haven't touched the CSP after going through all these things. If you do ASP, you have covered body 40, 50% of the CSP with ASP, and now you have to deal with only the half of the prep work. So that's our strategy, and we, we kind of lost that. But since it's a B, BCSP is a uh, option, some people have, and we, we need to discuss that. And you can, you can see that uh, is American Board of uh, Industrial Hygiene. If we have CAH, that you can directly go to CA, uh, CSP, okay? Uh, if you are Canadian board certified, then you can directly go to CSP. If you are a graduate safety professional, if you are in a university program, which is recognized by the BCSP, okay? The university, we're gonna, we're gonna talk about that we, as ANOVA USA has the collaboration and as a partnership is a Columbia Southern University. They are recognized by BCSP. That's how we got connected. So uh, those universities, if you're in that program, you get GSP. Those are the title they give it to you and you get qualified for, for that. And the same thing is for TS, uh, uh, TSP. Uh, government of India has a, a program. They have a diploma through the technical state government board. If you have that diploma, you also get qualified to uh, uh, get uh, CSP directly. And then IOSH uh, from UK, Institute of Occupational Safety and Health, if you are, you have a CM IOSH, you also can get to uh, the, um, the CSP. It, the same thing is for international training and a few others, I mean, I can name it, but you know, we have the information, it's available on the website. You can ask us, we can send you, or you can ask Shosh, they can give it to you. So it just, uh, those are the avenues you can take, okay? Let's jump deep into a little bit more ASP. Again, the requirement is uh, uh, you need to have either bachelor degree or you need to have associate degree in safety and health. 
That's the flexibility is there. <clears throat> ASP, you can do it even if you have a safety professional degree. Experience requirement is one year. Okay, CSP has three years or four years, I think. Uh, CSP experience is four years, okay? So ASP has a one year. Again, of course, the code of conduct, okay? SMS, again, is, is kind of at the same level as, uh, as CSP, but if you don't have a college degree and you want to be in a top management with the gold certification, then SMS is your way, but you need to have a 10 years of experience uh, to get qualified for that. So 10 years of experience or no bachelor degree, okay? Uh, next one is, uh, uh, is very popular in US, and getting popular in other, other regions of the world as well, uh, CHST. This is specifically for construction. Uh, so if you have a three years of degree, and, and you don't require a college education for this as well. You don't require the engineering or bachelor degree for the CS, CHST as well. So you have three years of uh, uh, degree, you can get qualified for, the, uh, for, uh, for this. Uh, next one is, CIT, as I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, this is a great training, instructional train, trainer uh, certification. Uh, if you have some training experience and you want to uh, strengthen your ability, you want to uh, enhance your skills, this is a great certification for that. And we have currently a batch learning tool on this and people love it. Um, these are, this is the blueprints of that and Bilal, uh, I will let you to, uh, uh, oh, let me, let me do this ASP, CSP, and then you can do the other one. Or uh, let me do the CSP, ASP, and then you can do the CHST and CIT, okay? And, but we don't have to go into detail. Here is the thing now. So this is the, basically the blueprint of uh, ASP and CSP. So think about it, you just look, look strategically what I'm, what I'm talking about, why it is important that you go through CSP through the route of ASP. If you look at the both sides of the domain of the, of the columns, you see there's a lot of cohesiveness, a lot of synchronous, a lot of interchange of the wording, the domain. So basically, you know, it's, it's, it covers the same domain in a different perspective. The ASP is kind of technical side of it, your basic sciences side of it, where CSP is the most applied and, you know, scenario management side, side of it. Uh, both CSP and ASP had nine domains. You know, domain one is the maths. You know, again, ASP also has a math. You know, both are roughly around 10%. So, you know, there's, that, that tells you the, 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 you know, the similarities between two. Domain two, management system. ASP, safety management system. So, you know, you, you see the whole thing. Uh, domain three is the risk management. Yeah, CSP is big on risk management. If you ever uh, ask me how, if I could explain CSP exam, uh, as long as you have a good grip on training, on emergency management, on uh, environment, and on risk management, the CSP should not be a difficult for you, okay? Whereas ASP is more numbers, more technical details, more construction, scaffolding, rigging, all those comes into play, uh, you know, into, into ASP as well. So just idea is just to give you the both domains side by side. I'm not gonna go into detail, Obviously, there are a lot of topics here. And you know, for ASP and CSP, the, the per BS, BCSP, you need about 100 books to reference. So that's why you know, it is much better you go through a mentor, go through an organization who can help you to prep the exam, makes your life a lot easier, and make your things go very quicker. You know, there's a reason they give you for one year for the, you know, for the certification, you can take the exam. But believe it or not, if, if, if it's going to take you more than three, four, five, six months, then it's going to be difficult for you because you don't want to take a year to prepare for these exams. You want to take this couple of months and get over with it, okay? And we can help you with this. Uh, let me go see, let me do this as well. CHST, of course, you know, I, I have the CHST. So their domain one is, is big. If you look at that, it's about close to 60% of, uh, you know, uh, they talk about hazard identification, control. And that basically, if you are in the safety, that's basically everything in, in the safety. How you can identify the hazard and what you're going to do about it. And you know, it's, it's a same concept of HERA, H I E R A, you know, um, hazard identification and risk assessment, you know, that type of thing. So it's, they, are, they are big on that. They are big on emergency and preparedness and uh, communication as well, because when you are on site, your communication matters, your, your cohesiveness with other uh, team member matters. And uh, CIT, I let Bilal talk about CIT a little bit, and then uh, then I jump in. 
Yeah, thank you. Uh, so one thing uh, I think we, we missed to mention, so let me uh, mention that first, that all the BCSP certifications, they are multiple choice questions. This is a one very big advantage uh, we have in all the BCSP certifications as compared to few other credentials of some other boards where you have to go through sometime the report process, exam process, or sometime the interview process. So uh, the, the things really there. Here, there are MCQs, multiple choice questions. For every question, you have four choices and there is one right answer which you have to pick. So that percentage means that out of like for ASP and CSP out of 200 questions, if there is 23% for any domain, it means that uh, 46 questions would be there from that topic, right? So as Imran has beautifully explained uh, that uh, the word blueprint, the word blueprint means syllabus or the topics that which topics would be there in your exam. So that's there for the each certification. And then the next question is from where to study these topics. So for that, you will see list of references in each certifications tab. And when you will go into that list of references, there are hundreds of standards and books which are not practically possible to cover. So as Imran has mentioned that as well, that we are there to mentor and help in that because we know it's not practically possible for anyone to get all those books and standards or even if you get them, uh, studying all of them, it's, it's really impossible. Uh, coming on to CIT, I think few people are raising the hand, but I, I, I would request that please hold your questions and queries or drop them in the chat box. We will give ample time to answer them. Okay, don't worry about that. Uh, coming to CIT, as we said that it's the training related credential. So uh, from the domain titles, you can see communication, interpersonal skills, needs assessment, that is a very important skill for any trainer that first of all, for any organization, uh, he must be able uh, to identify the need, the customized need of that organization, that what they actually require uh, for the capacity development of their resources. And once that's identified, the next step is the course design. Uh, there is a standard procedure to uh, develop any training uh, so that's why, first of all, it's overall big picture design, then it's development, then it's implementation, then you, you implement, you execute the course. Now you have to evaluate the trainees and decide that what was their uh, initial uh, precursor, where were they in the start of the training? Now, uh, what is their result at the end of the training so that you can define that delta of learning? Uh, from that particular training that how much you have delivered to them. So the standard procedures for that. And then overall course evaluation from the organizational objective point of view. And then ethics are everywhere. So those ethics, legal and ethical practices are there in the last domain of CIT as well. Uh, so that's why uh, these certifications really help uh, to get all those competencies getting through this detailed study procedure. Yes, Imran. Yes, uh, just very quickly uh, <clears throat> about our service, you know, what we do, you know, we, I'm not gonna go too much detail because I don't wanna make today's just our sales pitch, but that's what we provide in our services. You know, we have video lectures, you know, we have uh, uh, about 50 video lectures of almost uh, 45 minutes, minutes to an hour each. Uh, we have our own learning management system. We, you will get access to everything and you will have access for, I think it's about, uh, you know, four to six months, we can give you the access. And at the same time, we an important thing here is just like we are available here, believe it or not, we are available to all our students. We do gap analysis. We see where your weaknesses are. What can you do? Which strategy works for you? Because it's a, it's a different people have a different mindset. Different people have different strategies that are work for you. And we, we can tell you, we can guide you. And at the same time, you know, if you are six, uh, three weeks into the prep and you say, Balal, Imran, I, I was going through this lecture and here is this concept and when I'm not, uh, I'm not in this understanding, so we'll have a Zoom session, we'll have a WhatsApp call, we'll explain it to you and we'll take it through all your prep work. And uh, then at the end, 
before you, you book the exam, we also do a gap analysis because we don't want you to fail. That's why our passing rate is close to 90, 95%. We don't want you to fail. We do a gap analysis on you and see how you how prepared you are. And we'll tell you, you know, maybe you need two, three, four week, weeks more. And maybe these are the topics you need to look into it. And that's, you know, then you feel better. And this is strategy has been working very nicely for us. Uh, we have live lectures, we have in-person, we have online. Uh, CSP is, is uh, 50 hours, you know, compared about five, six days. ESP is 40 hours, roughly uh, five, four, five days, and CHST the same way. Uh, you know, I don't want to talk too much. We, if somebody had a question, they can reach us to us and we'll discuss that. Uh, Recertification requirement, that's important. And I'm going to talk more when our agreement with our, I know US an agreement with the uh, uh, with the um, Columbia Southern University regarding the certification point, we call it CEUs, it becomes very handy. And uh, I'll make that announcement towards the end. But CSP, ASP, and SMS, uh, you need to have a 25 uh, CU, PDU, or whatever you call it, the points uh, uh, over the period of five years to keep your certification. Because believe it or not, that's the last thing you want. You have a certification and you don't have any CEUs and PDUs. I think it's good for you to developmental skill, good for you, keep you informed, keep you motivated to do other certification, you know, but at the same time, there's a requirement as well for the, for the OHST, CHST, and CIT, uh, there are 20 points every five years, okay, it's pretty standard, okay. Um, this is, this is a big one, and this is a huge one for us as an as organization, as an individual, um, uh, that we have signed a memorandum of understanding between uh, uh, Columbia Southern University and uh, ANOVA USA. The, we are their training partner, we are their business partner, and we're doing a lot of things with them. And uh, um, uh, what can, the, what does, what this means to uh, students or professional like you? Uh, let me show you a couple of screens of what that, what that this mean basically. First thing is if you, um, uh, Columbia Southern University, you become, you get a 10% discount on your tuition flat. You don't have to mention anything. You just mentioned that you are affiliated with ANOVA. We, you, you talk to us and we'll tell you what to do and you will get 10% off your tuition fee book, no question asked. You get a free books. You'll have access to their you know, free other resources. And uh, you also be eligible for a scholarship through our program, as long as you mentioned that you are affiliated with the NOVA USA and you have our uh, permission to do that. Then, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with the, with the scholarship they have. You know, they have free sessions, free scholarship, you know, 10% discount, free books, a few other things as well. So if you have more questions, I'll be happy to answer towards the end. Another big one is that we recently uh, signed another agreement with the, with the Columbia Southern University is where they have accepted our program. It's a, it's a brilliant, brilliant honor. It's a, it's a, I would say humbly, it's an honor for us that our program is accepted in the American system, American University. We have uh, currently about five programs accepted, ASP, CHSP, uh, and uh, CSP, I'm sorry, and uh, we have a NFPA CSCP certification that is also accepted by the Columbia Southern University. And we are also launching our diploma program, international diploma program, which we will be launching very soon. And uh, that's also accepted by the Columbia Southern University. If you do any of those courses, you will be given, you will be uh, given a, 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 a CEUs for the ASP and a CSP, uh, CSP credits. If you do ASP, you get four credits because of 40 hour. If you do CSP, it's five hour. If you do some other certification, every certification has a different weight, which we have agreement with the C uh, Columbia Southern University. And you get this certification from them with your name on your email, whole proper nine, whole, whole, whole thing on there, okay? Um, a special announcement, just one second. Just give, me, give me a second, please, okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, definitely here is a lot of special announcements uh, we have then. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to, because I, I, I would mention my part and then I will let brother uh, uh, Abdullah and or uh, Al-Zahrani mention their part on Sash Bay. But we are, uh, we as in OI USA, uh, we're looking for, uh, uh, we, we had a serious talk to develop and uh, uh, agreement with SOSH, 
in Saudi Arabia. And uh, so we become, uh, Sash could be, could be our uh, partner, uh, uh, as an affiliate partner with us in, in Saudi Arabia. And we can, lot of do, we can do a lot of things, believe it or not. These are just things because this, this webinar is not a strategic way, it's specifically designed for AS with BCS certification. So this is what you see, but there's a lot of other activities we do. We do a lot of CRS activities, you know, awareness, you know, I was I mean, just on the side note. I mean, I was invited by the president of Pakistan. I, I met with him uh, two, three months ago. We're doing a lot of activities there, you know, with the prime minister, with the governors, you know, and, uh, you know, so those things will come. Uh, and uh, we would like to, uh, you know, as Shosh had, uh, you know, mentioned their interest. And we, we're going to actually, believe it or not, Abdullah, we, I'm going to take it just to my board tomorrow. As I mentioned, we have a meeting. And uh, I know that they're going to they look, they have some, might have some questions, but they value a lot of my input as, you know, I'm looking things globally and strategically. So there'll be a good news for you guys as well and for Sosh as well. We can join here in a lot of different things. Here are a couple of things which I think, again, will, which will make Sosh uh, uh, very, very proud of it. We're making one announcement here today that if Sash or brother Abdullah, brother, you know, uh, uh, Zahrani, because those are the two people I know, uh, can, we can give one scholarship, one scholarship to anybody that you recommend or Sash recommends to us, and they can, that person can join our, our ASP prep of, uh, in the next coming one. We have one running right now, you know, it is almost full and we already do a, our third week. We have one coming up soon, probably in May or April, May. So we will honor that. We'll announce that today that one person you give to us and we will give a scholarship to that. And one more thing, we are big on, we are big on uh, 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 women's involvement, especially on safety. I mean, we get a whole thesis in a Punjab university. I was there and uh, if you, we are giving you one scholarship if you bring any female, our sister, our daughter, you, the, and who has a potential that she, she is a college graduate in Saudi Arabia or anywhere in the Gulf. Believe it or not, I will take that the sister, daughter as well, and we'll, we'll give you two actually, one for male, one for female, because we want to make it as a, as a fair for everybody as, as a US company, because we don't want to just give it to, you know, as a male thing. It's, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta uh, get to the both ways. Plus I strongly believe when it comes to HSE, when it comes to safety and awareness, I think women's, uh, women are probably more prepared because they have a God-given sense of uh, uh, you know, sensitivity and understanding things more than men maybe. But you know, this is our part, what we can do. And we, through your help, we give you two scholarship today, one for male, one for female, you give it to us and we will take care of it, okay? Um, another important announcement is, uh, as we've been talk with Sosh, we are, uh, we are working on having a, a workshop in Riyadh uh, in second or third week of March. So you guys are more than welcome uh, to uh, contact us or contact, since we are you know, talking to Sash very openly, you can talk to Sash as well or talk to us and uh, let's set up our workshop and we find another date and we will be in Saudi Arabia, uh, me and Bilal uh, personally, teaching you four or five days, CHST, CSP, ASP, or any other, you know, we'll be there and uh, we, will, we will be, uh, you know, uh, honored to represent you guys uh, in Saudi Arabia as well, okay? Um, yeah, as you mentioned, you can contact uh, Sosh and everybody else. Lester, uh, there was a screen there, Bilal, of uh, uh, CRS that we have, there you go, there you go, this one. This one, I, I mentioned that we'll come back. So this is a scheme that tells you <clears throat> we, during pandemic, uh, I was uh, approached by, you know, the, the government of Pakistan that we did the, actually SOP for the, for the governor's office in Punjab. And uh, I, I thought about a lot of people, you, know, you guys in the Middle East, a lot of Pakistani and Indian people are in, in work in, uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia, Doha and UAE, and they were sent back home you know, people you know, having some difficulty. And we have actually a couple of people that we helped, we gave them a scholarship. One guy was from India, professional working, and I think he was working in Doha or somewhere. So we have this exercise when we gave one to a female and we would like to do the same again as well. So this is a thing we had done past in last year in the summer. 
And, uh, uh, and uh, uh, one I announced today uh, with you guys at the end that we'll give that. And uh, so RDI is, is a corporate social responsibility. We all need to be uh, contribute whatever we can uh, to the society, to the safety. As I mentioned, you know, it's in Quran, <coughs> excuse me, you say one life, you say humanity. It's, I think it's a great, it's in a very bigger picture, but yes, you know, you, you, gotta, you gotta look at that, that perspective as well. Um, now uh, is a question and answer. What I, I would see is there are some questions in English and there are some questions in Arabic. And my Arabic starts with Kaifa Hala and it ends at Shukran. The rest I don't know. So I will ask Brother uh, Zahrani, our brother <laughs> Ramdi, you please actually take care of all the questions. I know your English is great as well and Arabic, I trust you. So you ask a question and we'll give an answer, please. You take over from here. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Amran. We have also our colleague here, uh, Abdulaziz Al Atabi. He's also a board member of SOSH. Sure. Uh, Abdulaziz was behind the event actually, and he did all the arrangement, but he's working as usual behind the scene. Yep. Uh, Abdulaziz, if you would like to take over. Brother Abdulaziz, welcome. I know I have talked to you in a, in a, in a group we have. Uh, I'm sorry I carried away with a lot of things, so I didn't uh, mention your name, but. Welcome. You you take it from there. The floor is yours. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Thank you, uh, Mr. Imran. Uh, it is a very useful uh, presentation. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you, Fahad. Uh, and uh, we'll inshallah. Uh, we hope inshallah we have a great uh, relationship with your. Uh, uh, company uh, to improve uh, safety knowledge between uh, safety practitioners here in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, be before I say something, there is a, I, I read a comment in the chat. There is a, a female sister here, uh, Fatma Binate something. Uh, She's asking for scholarship. Brother Gamadi, uh, it's up to you. Please pay attention to that chat. I'm very happy that, you know, a sister or daughter joined the session as well. So we will honor that sister. Don't worry about that, okay? She will, will, will consider that definitely, yes. Okay, thank you. Thank pa Fatma you. is a member with us and she's a very active member, actually. Oh, mashallah. <laughs> she holds master in safety and risk management. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, inshallah, she is, yes, uh, we will consider that definitely. Definitely. We'll, uh, I can tell you that I can give you first CSP or ASP in Saudi Arabia female. I can do that. Okay, we can do that, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, did, here is a question uh, Is there any prep for CIT? If there is not, uh, how I prepare myself for it? Uh, Bilal, you want to jump in on this? Sure. Uh, yes, uh, we are providing the exam preparation for, in fact, all the BCSP certifications. We are most, most of the time we are busy in ASP and CSP, but right now uh, we are conducting the CIT batch and we are doing it on the same way. Like we uh, give the books, we give the resources, and then we provide the domain wise lecture. So the strategy we have discussed, we are conducting the batches for all these certifications right now, ASP, CSP and CIT is going on. So all the uh, respectful candidates who want to pursue CIT, please contact us or please contact SOCH. Uh, we, have all those, uh, we have all those exam prep services. Don't worry about that. There is also a question saying, comparing between the two Nebush and ASP, which one would you recommend for engineering degree with 14 year experience and safety? Okay. Uh, if you can just uh, say a little about this. If you mean a Nebush IGC, then there is no comparison between Nebush IGC. Yeah. Nebush IGC is just level three. It's only introductory yeah. level. Yeah. Okay. But if you mean Nebush uh, diploma, yeah, this is something else. The Bush Diploma is equivalent to ASB. Yeah. And both can prepare you for CSP. Yeah. That, that is true. Exactly. We endorse that. IDC has uh, uh, no, no comparison. 
an eye dip, yes, you can. But again, I mentioned, yes, you can take C to, to CSP, but bear in mind the time it takes to get eye dip and the, the cost it takes to get eye dip. And at the same time, what I mentioned, the strategic point here is once you have you know, once you don't have once you have not gone to ASP and you want to do CSP, it's a little harder because you haven't haven't tasted the first uh, appetizer, which is the ASP. So our recommendation always is to go ASP and CSP. But if somebody already has eye dip or somebody is almost getting eye dip, then I would say go to that out and get it. But if somebody wants to start it, our recommendation is don't do that. Yes, sir. Uh, same thing, how about Nibu certificate and fire safety? Uh, most of Nibu here, three days or four days, these are in the UK system, they call it level three. Yeah. Uh, and I'd recommend the people first, they need to understand the uh, accreditation system uh, in the UK. Uh, they go by level, level one, level two, level three. So level three is, all, is always an introductory level. Uh, so the only equivalent Nibush degree or Nibush certificate to ASS, to ASB is the Nibush diploma. Yeah. Uh, other than that, these are only uh, introductory courses, uh, which is my, my mostly equivalent to level three, level four, I think. But the uh, Nibush IDC is only level three. That's true. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, next question, the... Uh, engineering education within three years, safety engineer. Is it eligible to CSB certificates, certified? Yeah. Yes. Okay, the answer is yes. Which is very good to fare in the uh, experienced people. What do you recommend? Which degree would you recommend? Uh, say, say it again, Brother Fuller. Say it again. I, I think, yeah, I think Lou, I was talking uh, about uh, the uh, training uh, certificate, which is very good for to fair at the experienced people. SMS. You, you SMS. Want to, you want to talk about safety SMS. management specialists? Yeah. yeah. The people, yeah. people who don't have the education, but they have experience, they can go for SMS, they can go for CHST. And they can go for CIT as well. Can we have a presentation slides, please? Yeah, Imran, please share it again. No, you mean you want to have it, have it, or you want to see no, the yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah. yeah send, send, I think send the presentation. Okay, we, we can. Uh, yeah, we can we can do that. I will send it to you, and then you can you can uh, you know do what you can with it. No problem. Okay. Okay. Is CSB allowed me to get grad Ayush or uh, STEM Ayush? The answer is yes. You yeah. once you become uh, uh, CSP, you contact Ayush. You pay their fee, one ninety one pounds. You become grad Ayush. Then you get then CMOs, the two step process, you get automatically qualified for CMI IOs, but there is a you know, uh, you know, uh, the CPD part or what PDU part, you have to do it. Just but, interview, yes, one interview, yeah, one interview. But it, it, may, it makes very quicker and very fast if you become CSP and then go get CMI A lot of people do that. And I, I want to add, yeah, I want to add one thing. Uh, Abdullah brother, I want to add one thing that uh, the people uh, with CSP uh, get a lot of advantages from other boards. Like as, uh, as the brother asked for IOSH, yes, you get grad IOSH and CM IOSH. If someone is planning like immigration to Canada uh, for the Canadian qualification, CRSP, there is the uh, IELTS process as well. There is the interview process as well. There is exam process as well. But once you are CSP, mm -hmm. Uh, one, uh, you are well accepted in the Canada as well, and your interview is exempted, your documents uh, requirements is exempted. You just have to give the online exam, and the Canadian board also accepts you. So uh, the reciprocal is very good with CSP. Um, another, another question is from Ali Sharif. Uh, uh, brother, he's asking for, yes, I think it makes sense. 
you get uh, CSP first and then CMI OSH. And <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> then he's asking if there's any scholarship for CSP. Um, since, I mean, the idea of the scholarship is uh, somebody who is absolutely in a need. I would say, you know, and just because is a hindrance is, you know, he don't want to pay that six hundred, eight hundred bucks dollars, and then we can help there. Uh, but this is a decision that we have given an honor to Sosh. If they think you qualified, we have no problem. Uh, but we need to, uh, you know, it has to come through Sosh. Um, we will, we will honor their recommendation without any question. So you, Ali Sharif, you better talk to. Uh, SOSH management team, and they will take and guide you. Thank you. I have been, uh, there is one question in Arabic. I'm a member of the company, and the company is Nibosha, or the company is Nibosha. What are the parameters that you can get from Sami Al-Jihani? Sami, you can talk to me after the meeting, inshallah ta'ala. You can talk to me, and you can talk to me with the other two. حتى نفهم بالضبط ايش اللي ايش احتياجاتكم بالضبط للشركه او ايش اللي تحتاجه انت بالضبط لانه ما ني فاهم بالضبط انت ايش اللي ايش الاحتياج حقك بالضبط طيب اي هاف بي اوكي اي هاف بي باتشلر ان بابليك هيلث ويتش بيتر فور مي تو جيت ام بي اتش ان اوكيبيشنال هيلث اند سيفتي اور تو جو فور اي اس بي اند ان سي اس بي اوكي uh, you know, again, it, it all depends where the person is. Uh, if the person uh, uh, is in, uh, if, if the person was in US, I would say go for ASP and CSP. I mean, master's degree is great, but you know, it doesn't give you a skill enhancement. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a degree, you get credential, but ASP, CSP is the, you know, the manager or hiring manager of the company, <clears throat> Look at CSP and ASP as a as a as a, as a, as a candidate or professional, uh, where who has gone through a process and have a skill and understand the applied science and applied mechanism of the work of the professional you know uh, intricacies. So I recommend is always getting these certification and then doing a master whatever you can, because you know it all depends where the person is. So I I don't know. Yeah. No ASP does not give you grad I O. Somebody Emma Daski. The CSP gives you grad IOs. Yeah. What course should I take next if I have five years, uh, around five years experience with bachelor degree, which is engineer? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you 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 take CSP and you take ASP and then get CSP and then you automatically will get grad IOs and CMI OSH. So you know you do one, you take BCSP, you'll get almost four certification: ASP, CSP. Grad IOs, CMIOs. So, you know. I have 17 years experience as HSE and five years as HSE manager legal with oil and gas company in Saudi Arabia. Can you please advise the process to obtain CSP? Well, I would say if you have 17 years experience, you're about 15 years late. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyhow, but no, I'm just kidding about that. No, the thing is that we had a whole presentation and uh, uh, um, you can contact Sash or contact us. We're more than happy to. I mean, I don't want to repeat the whole presentation again, but this was all shared. Uh, it's, it's available at anovausa.com or contact us, Sash, so we can take it from there. Yeah, and, and one it's thing I want to add is one thing I want to add is that any person which has bachelor's education with experience, we unanimously advise ASP and CSP because they are the top certifications. So uh, you, if you have any bachelor degree, you have the experience, go for ASP, CSP. The other certifications you can consider if you are not getting eligible for ASP or CSP, or you are done with them, and then you are looking for some specialized one. But initially, if you have education, you have experience, go for ASP and CSP. Uh, uh, He's asking about fire safety uh, certification. Uh, I think there is, he mentioned the NFPA. Can you give us a little bit about it? Uh, yes, uh, CFPS is the NFPA certification. Uh, it's a good one. 
if you have a, a buyer experience, it's a, it's a very well known in US and across the board. There's not that many professional who has that. Um, so we do provide uh, uh, exam prep for that as well. Uh, one of our students got recently CFPS. So yes, we, we can again, you contact us or Sasha and we will we, we take it from there, no problem. Yeah. Right. There is an agreement uh, between uh, BCSB and Nibush mm -hmm. about Nibush IDP and ASP, our equivalent. Yep. Uh, yes, there is an agreement. Yes, yep. this was- uh, we, we have mentioned that we mentioned that many times, yes, there is. And uh, you know, but he's, he's asking uh, about because there is a new syllabus for the uh, Nibush IDP. Hmm. Uh, I think there is even the syllabus changed. I think it's the agreement is still there, yes, because the way just like we have an agreement with Columbia Southern University, hmm. if we change anything, we need to notify them and they got to reevaluate our program. The same thing goes with the BCSP and Nibosh. If Nibosh change something, they must have already talked to BCSP and BCSP must have already done all the analysis and evaluation on it. So if the BCSP don't say anything, the agreement still stands. Yes, by the way, and I worked on this agreement a few years back. I, I brought both organizations together uh, and then, yes, yes. Uh, yep. It was even it was even uh, يعني, uh, through the help of Ayush at that time. Okay, okay. I know. I knew. I knew you have done some good things. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what about double IRSM? What is the entry level uh, of people holding CSB in double IRSM? Double IRSM, double IRSM, the international oh, institute. IARSM, okay, okay, IARS. okay, okay. okay. Uh, it's, 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 it's nothing to do with IARSM. They, they don't have any because IARSM and uh, like- Sakura. Yeah, uh, because they are not that much big organizations like IOSH or Nibosh are there. So IARSM is a good commercial provider, but it has nothing to do with BCSP. Maybe maybe we can talk to double IRSM and see uh, how they can affiliate with the BCSB yeah. to recognize both uh, accreditation. Yep, that's a good okay. point. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, good. What is the best path career for HSE engineer? And I already have Nibush IDC. Well, as we have talked uh, earlier, uh, if you have Nibush IDC, and uh, you have a, for a bachelor degree, I would say get ASP, you know, and then go CSP and then do other things with the NABOSH or IOSH. Because IGC is level three, it's not gonna get you anywhere in the US system. Uh, is ASP and CSP need to renew every year? There is, uh, there are points, yes, you need to, re you can elaborate more. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, the two things, the points are uh, over the period of the, uh, the four years or five years for CSP, ASP, and CTST or three years, whatever the period is, that over the, that period, you need to accumulate uh, 20 points. You need to develop, so somebody needs to put on a mute. You need to develop those points. Lo Loya Al Hisham, please mute. Okay, thank you. So there are two things. One is your yearly. One is your yearly recertification with the BCSP for your for your uh, for your certification. And one is the recertification of your credential, which is over the period of five years or four years. For that credential recertification, you need the CPD, CEU, or those points, which we mentioned in the screen is 25 points or 20 points. But for the yearly membership fee, they wanna make sure that you are doing it and there's a fee for it, I think $100, $140 for ASP, CSP, or CHST. It's everything on BCSP website or you can contact us, we can give you further detail on it. Yes. Is there a pre uh, replacement test to find out which certificate or program is suitable? Well, uh, again, the whole presentation was designed for this that uh, uh, it all depends what education qualification you have, what experience you have, and uh, 
on the basis of that, you can pretty much make a decision uh, that what certification you qualify that. If you have bachelor's degree, you qualify for CSP and ASP. If you don't have a bachelor's degree, then you qualify for SMS, CHST, and CAT. So, you know, that's- Can I, that's add, the... can I add something? Sure, sure. Yeah, so uh, one interesting thing uh, in this question I want to add is that after all this presentation, if you still have any confusion or you need any guidance uh, on which certification to be selected, just drop us a WhatsApp, a message or email to us or our respected, respected partners, Soch. We will reply to that because just an interesting fact that me and Imran, we are daily answering these type of questions on our email and our WhatsApp to a big number of students voluntarily. That's why we are recognized as mentors. So we are always available for any type of guidance or mentoring to you people for the right selection. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, what, about, what about other academic certificates? Uh, mm -hmm. and OSHA not acceptable for a field. Uh, uh, I yeah. think we, we need more we need understanding of what is yeah. Nebush and Ayush and OSHA. Yeah. These are two, three different organizations. One is uh, testing, uh, professional test certification, which is the Nebush. Ayush is a membership organization. And OSHA, uh, I'm not sure what OSHA. OSHA they have two different courses, uh, but they are not accreditation. It's not an accreditation, it's only, or certification. It's only a program or training program. You can complete and achieve a certificate for that. For Ayush, it's, as I said, it's a membership. Uh, having certificate will help you. The certification will help you in, uh, in, the, in the Ayush membership categories, which categories uh, you will be eligible for. For example, uh, uh, I think ASB, you are, I think, uh, eligible for grade Ayush. Okay, let me, let me, brother, just uh, uh, add something here. Yes, please. Uh, regarding OSHA, um, I'm glad you answered the question, and I see in the chat is the one part participants talking about uh, OSHA Academy and one talking about uh, OSHA International, OSHA Worldwide, OSHA Global. OSHA planet, OSHA Jupiter, you can call it OSHA anything. It doesn't mean nothing, okay? Just be very honest with you. It doesn't mean nothing. It means as a company, the guys were a little smarter and they named their company OSHA because OSHA is a regulatory authority under the president of USA is the Occupation Safety Health Administration. It stands for OSHA. So I, I see a lot of things. I don't want to make it as like a, a different type of webinar, but I see a lot of things with, that has to do with OSHA and then something else with it. You know, OSHA Academy, OSHA, I don't want to name anything, but those are just the company who, who, whose name is OSHA. I think what I want, I, another thing I want to just give it to everybody here is when you talk to any professional, you talk to any professional, don't talk about their name. Don't worry about where they are located. Talk about what credentials they have, what associations they have, what affiliations they have, what track record they have. Is they recognized by any board? I mean, one thing we didn't mention, our program is recognized by the NFP as well. There's a famous certification of NFP in electrical safety, if any electrical engineer here sitting, is a CESCP, which is the NFPA certification for the electrical safety. Our program is the NFPA has a requirement of 40 hours of hands-on experience or from any certified or recognized body. ANOVA USA is recognized by the NFPA. Our program, you, you do it and you go to them and you'll get qualified for the CSEP. The, the bottom line is that what I'm trying to make this conversation is, it's all not about the names, what OSHA is. It's all about the credential. It's all about who do you talk to. And when you talk to somebody, go to the depth of it. See who you are, what you have done, what are your credentials are. I, I'm, I'm big on that. In every presentation, I say that. Vet the person. Because if I'm saying that I'm a trainer and I'm a safety professional and I'm, I'm talking to 100 people at the same time, sitting right now, then those 100 people have a right to ask me a question of who I am. 
So that's the thing. So coming <clears throat> coming back to brother, your OSHA point, be careful with the name. OSHA doesn't mean anything. And especially OSHA has no jurisdiction out of USA. Yes, if you get want to get a training on OSHA standards or OSHA compliance, get it from somebody who's OSHA certified. Okay, just like very humbly myself or somebody else who is certified by the OSHA, by the US Department of Labor, and he has the credibility and the liability to, to, to teach those things in the field. Yes, you can get the training from that. Just by somebody named, company name is OSHA, it doesn't mean much. So I hope I gave you a very long winded answer, but the idea was is go to the person, if you want to go to a doctor, go to a doctor who has a credential and who has done surgeries, who has done everything. So he can give you better advice and he can make you, he can cure you. Same thing applies here. Sorry for a long winded answer, brother. Oh, okay, no problem. Can I use span books to prep for ASB and CSB? Well, we haven't talked about we haven't talked about the books, by the way. Uh, well, what is what, which which uh, which 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 one is the new one for uh, the new exam or? Well, okay. thing is, uh, yeah, I think thing we we actually you know in our uh, other presentation sometimes we we uh, bring up the live uh, <clears throat> uh, blueprints online. You know, we didn't do it this one. We just gave you only the 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 names of the blue, uh, the domains it covered, like nine domains. But there's a no one book, brother, uh, the, uh, um, uh, Abdullah. There's a no one book. Yes, people use uh, that David Yates. Uh, There's a book that people use. There's a new edition of it. It's, it's a good book. It gives you a lot of information. If you if you are a type of person who can do on your own and do a lot of things, you know, do the questions, yeah, go for it. But there is a no one book that I have come across. And the, the way the BCSP strategically it designed the, those blueprints and those uh, uh, the exam pattern, believe it or not, I am in this field for a long time. When I still I look at the blueprint and I say, man, how they have done that. They have a whole like a, a psychological team running those blueprints. And don't, they don't want you to be stuck on one topic. They talk about like a training and they, they're talking about training in like four different domains because their application of the training in a four different aspects of the professional life. So the short answer is I don't have any, any book that I can recommend. Yes, people use a few books here and there. And somebody mentioned the C-SPAN. Yeah, I mean, people use it, you know, just like people use our program, people use other programs too. Uh, again, you know, it's all, uh, it, what, the, the, what my understanding, I'm still an old fashioned, you know, um, to still doing a lot of certification. I think is a human interaction is still very important when it comes to uh, comes to training, especially these US type of exams. The human interaction is very critical that not only you're going through LMS and all these things, but you, you also uh, have a person who can talk to you, who can give you some strategies, who can give you some text, who can answer your question. My, my strategy is always is to, for the guys, and uh, my students is not that I can give you the answer. I can always give you the answer. But my thing is that I want student and professional who's sitting in my class, they can ask me a question. That is more important because believe it or not, if you think about it, asking a question is a harder than getting an answer. So that's where the human interaction and whole, whole you know, psyche thing comes into play. So again, long answer, I don't have any book. I recommend you know uh, a personal you know set up some sort of even good training. I, I have a diploma in security, occupational safety, and OSHA. So what, what programs would you recommend uh, for such candidates? Okay, again, what brother. Uh, yeah, again. I mean, what OSHA? When somebody say OSHA, what he's talking no, about? No, it's, it's okay. Just forget forget about OSHA. Now, okay. Okay. He has a diploma in security, occupational safety. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe he's he's main occupational safety and health uh, okay. diploma as well. Okay, okay so, so what, let me what, yeah, yeah. What let me let me let me yeah let me assume that he does not have a college degree because if the diploma is the highest qualification, <clears throat> excuse me, then I think probably uh, CHST, OHST, CIT, SMS, and uh, STS. Those are uh, is a good for him that person who has a diploma. But if somebody has a bachelor degree and then have a diploma, uh, that diploma 
could get be uh, could be a qualifying credential then they can talk to us and we can tell you what to do then he might get qualified for the csp because the different diplomas have different uh, uh, you know weightage by samir johani i mean uh, i need professional safety and health certificate what i need for diploma degree as i said sami if you can contact us after the meeting inshallah yeah. we'll we'll talk about the diploma programs a slide 24 from the presentation mentioned several people who have uh, each certificate how many of them are in case a yeah i have answered that in chat below okay, okay. Walid, yes, uh, becoming the screen. For a CIT, can you explain more about it? Yeah, so what specific uh, Yasin want to ask, he can tell us or he can email us. I have mentioned the email too. He can visit our, our website as well so that we can further assist accordingly. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you all. Uh, Fahad or Abdul Aziz, if you want to add anything, please. Uh, yes, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good, good evening. Uh, and I want to uh, ask if there's, yani, if there's any, any specific uh, qualification for the CSP or uh, yani, just baccalaureate degree, mm. whom uh, can take these certificates or the other diplomas cannot. So this is my يعني, question. Thank you for the listening. Did you got it? Yeah. Uh, you can have any degree. It is not necessary that your bachelor's must mm. be in safety. You can have any bachelor's degree. And uh, another thing is for uh, ASP, you should have one year experience. For CSP, you should have four year experience. And in that experience, 50% of your responsibilities should be safety related. Now, that experience also doesn't mean that your uh, job title should be safety officer or safety supervisor. You can be an operational manager, you can be a project manager, but your job responsibility should be safety related. And bachelor degree can be anyone, any any bachelor degree. Yeah, and it must be baccalaureus. Huh? Yeah. 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 Let me so okay. let me let me say it said differently. Uh, yeah. That's why in US they, they try to put the years with it. They don't say it has to be fifteen or sixteen years degree. Yeah. Or, or they, they call it fifteen or sixteen years of schooling. In other words, you say that. Yeah. So that you know, if you have gone to sixteen years of schooling from kindergarten up to whatever you are, you qualify. See, uh, I, I have uh, a long experience, but my education is just diploma. So still I didn't continue for the bachelor or, yeah. So if you have more than 10 years of yeah. experience, then you could go for SMS. If it's less than that, then you should go for CHST, I would say. Or if you are mm -hmm. into a training, then go for CIT. I think those are three is best options for you. Okay, thank you, thank you. I think a couple of guys has, a, Ali Sharif has a hand up. Uh, you want to, yeah, go ahead, Ali. Um, hello, everyone, how are you? Um, I would like to thank you, I'd like to uh, thank Mr. Abdullah and also uh, all such uh, teams, and also uh, you, Mr. Imran, and um, uh, Mr. Uh, Bilal, uh, Bilal. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Bilal, yes. Um, so, um, uh, I would like to ask for uh, uh, regarding with the uh, CSP. Um, before I would, uh, I, I I am a Nibush diploma holder, um, and I wanted to do. Um, I am eligible for the uh, CM CM uh, CMIOSH, but I I I was uh, was boning the CMIOSH that uh, because I hear that um, if I get the CSB, then I applied for CMIOSH. I will get the CMIOSH and also. The same I will give me points, so I can. Uh, this is for my uh, continual or re renewal for the uh, uh, certification. Yep. Uh, so I will be benefit both. Yep. Um, another question also regarding with the um, CSB. Um, if you can, uh, I don't know for sure they they have this point. Uh, but if you can, either you clarify or you can um, ask them um, regarding with the syllabus. 
Um, as you know, for example, uh, NIVOSH or, or IOSH or any other um, certification or certificate or, or a training uh, uh, institute, um, they have syllabus book. Uh, either they do themselves or um, they, they leave, for example, an approved centers like, for example, um, uh, RRC or any other center, and yeah. then they approve it uh, uh, themselves. Uh, so uh, in CSB or ASB, uh, as you mentioned, um, there is no specific book. So people needs um, to dive through uh, different uh, maybe box and also uh, the uh, you know the domains are very wide so it takes um, long takes experience and also some people as you know the they, they don't have for example the engineering background uh, or a mathematical background so this is uh, sometimes will be difficult so um, we got to those two points yeah thank you very yeah. much yeah, yeah. let yeah, me let me uh, yeah. answer your question in a, in, a, in a detail you asked two three questions in a single one so I, I'll take a few minutes uh, uh, first of all um, in, on, on a lighter note join our CSP tomorrow okay that's your best route for you don't waste any more time because with that you will get two other two three things just you will get graduation next day okay and you will get CMIO as well that you've been waiting for a while on a lighter note, otherwise it's your decision. Um, coming back to um, uh, your point of slavers, I think that's where the you know the things got split in a, in a U.S. system and in the British system. Uh, U.S. system is they really want you go through the through the hoop to get that certification. There is a no slavers. There is a no book. And Brother Ramdi asked me the same question. There's no book, believe it or not. I still believe or not, sometimes we have to update our learning management system. And you know, I, I raise my head, man, where I start? Believe it or not, today, after doing through so many training, I don't know if this thing I discuss in, 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 in a safety management and now is coming in, in the training as well, how you relate these two. But that's the trick of CSP. That's why CSP is a gold certification in the world. That's why Nebosh accepts the CSP. You know, that's why I always accept and give you CMI OSHA and grad OSH because it's a higher level certification. They really go through. It's not easy to believe or not to go sit on the exam for five hours. It's not easy. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people cannot do that. And that's why, you know, the, the passing rate for a CSP is around 60%. So it's, it's hard. And then it's made hard technically because the industry here in US, basically they need those professionals to come in. They are in tact with the BCSP board and they have strategic meetings with the, with the OSHA and NFP and all these things. These are all me. And they discuss these things. So they don't want to make it easy for you. Where, I mean, I don't want to name any names, but the other boards, you know, things, you know, things a bit different, you know, they're, you know, other side to it. So, um, yes, uh, answer, I gave one answer to you. Next is, there is, there is no slave, but there's a no book. Blueprints is your Bible or whatever you call it. If you can understand blueprint, blueprint, you call me, you know, you'll be my consultant, okay? So it's, it's very hard to understand the blueprint and especially it's very hard to understand in the context of passing the exam. You can understand the blueprint, you can make a course out of it, but how do you, you know, how, how do you, uh, you know, combine things? Because then if we have a student, end of the day, I want to make sure they pass our exam. We have a passing rate of more than 90%. I want to keep that. So it doesn't become easier. Um, I, I hope I answered your question, Ali. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Sorry, there's a brother, I Muhammad has it. a hand we, up. For, for sure, I'll, I'll contact you. And, uh... Yeah, it's Muhammad Batuk and Muhammad Al Al-Yami. They have a hand up. Yes, uh, uh, this is Mohammed Batog. I'm working, I'm working on uh, safety field since uh, uh, 12, so I've been interesting with everything related to the safety. Thank you for the effort. Thank you for uh, Innovo. Thanks for the SOSA to make this happen and this meeting. Thanks for all the parties and the speakers. My question is, uh, is the English language is there something like a recommended level of English to be, uh, let's say, to get in the, 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 the exam? Uh, for example, the Nebosh uh, has uh, that kind of level or the recommended level, for example, uh, IELTS 6, 
they recommended that level to 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 get in the uh, uh, Nebush IDB. Is there the same thing? That question one. Question two. Uh, my question uh, to the Sosa uh, Society. Is there a communicate number, for example, uh, phone, WhatsApp number, etc., to communicate to you directly? I have an honor to meet uh, Mr. Abdullah Al Gandhi and uh, Hattan uh, in the last uh, OCH uh, uh, conference. Uh, it been, I think, uh, last year. So I didn't find a uh, contact number at that time to, to meet them again. Uh, and thank you. I'm sorry for that. No problem. Yes. Let me... uh, yeah. Just for the contact, uh, Abdelaziz Al Atib is with us here. Uh, Abdelaziz is the contact person for uh, Sosh. Abu Naif, later on, please, if you can uh, talk to Batog and give him the contact information. Yes. Uh, but the, um, um, uh, the number I think uh, uh, Brother Abdullah can uh, give you as well, and uh, we have dropped our number, number there too. Um, let me, I think I, I got distracted. Uh, Vlad, you can, uh, what was the question, if you don't mind? Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, the question from Batuk is very interesting about the level of English for the ASP and CSP. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So uh, 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 let me answer it very specifically. If you look at the Canadian board, they ask from you IELTS 6 or equivalent TOEFL document. Okay. If you look at Nibosh, uh, they don't ask you the document, but they suggest you to be at the level of IELTS 6. Same is the case for BCSP that they don't ask any IELTS or TOEFL document from you. But from our experience, your English level in all the fields in the reading, writing, and speaking, uh, speaking is not necessary. In the reading and writing must be minimum six, at least between six and seven. Then you would be able to really do some good in exam because you have okay. to understand the context there. Yeah, but let me let me give you, a Brother Batu, just a little bit. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of funny, but at the same time, it, it, it encourages you that. Yes, there is a requirement that you need to have fluent in English, but we have a student, I'm not going to name that. <laughs> we had a student from Saudi Arabia. He was our student and he did the ASP with us. He did the, uh, the he, CSP with us as well. Now he had gone to get CMO and everything. And that gentleman, I mean, English is not that great. He's a great guy. I love him. You know, he's good resource. But English is that's where you know things don't don't go well. He went to the exam and his English was so I would say B. Uh, on there there was a question: Do you understand or agree with the code and ethics of uh, uh, BCSP if you want to continue that? And he said, No, I don't want to continue that. And they they you know kicked him out of the exam just before even he started the exam. Um, what I'm saying is, is, is it sounds funny, but then you know we contacted BCSP. He was able to give him the permission to do it again on a courtesy basis. But answer to your question is, yes, English is a good to have it, but please don't hold your yourself just because you're worried about English. English yeah, is a part of the equation, but it's not the only part of the equation. If you have a degree, you have skills, um, you can teach yourself or we can help you because it's not, a, it's not a debate on philosophy that you're going to defend your thesis on it. No, it's, a, it's still a technical thing and more of a applied thing. So. There's a funny story I told you. So don't hold yourself just because English, you're worried about English. BCSP, technically speaking, on paper, don't care. You may not speak English, but as long as you can answer their question, they are fine with that. Yeah. And one very important information uh, when we are talking about the English is related with your documents, although it's much technical, uh, that yeah. if your official educational documents and experience documents are in uh, by default, they are in English, like we have from Pakistan and India, we have our education and documents in English. So BCSP accept that. But if you have your documents in Arabic, then you have to get their official English translation and that you can submit the attested official English translation. You cannot submit them if they are only in Arabic. 
Yes, and uh, I see a couple of questions. You know, the guy saying there's an app of uh, the ASP CSP game quiz. Can that help? Others saying the other certification. Well, I you know the the game is not going to pass your exam. The game is you know it's, it's a real deal. It's 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 a, it's a top notch certification. Um, just you know, somebody has a 29 question on a, on an app. It doesn't cut it. Believe it or not, you know when you have a reference of 100 books. There's a no app that's going to give you that. But yeah, there's some good resources you can use. And then the question is that um, there are other preparation courses. Yes, there are other preparation courses. Go do a research on it. Uh, check the pricing. Check the way that they conduct the course. Check the how much human interaction. We are big on human interaction. We are big. We're sitting here for the last three hours. And no problem. Because that's, again, one more thing, brother. And brother Gamti and you know, a few professional here, if I do, is you got to really understand that you, you've been dealing with me and uh, not yet with the Balal, but this is what we do for a living. It's not like I have another nine to five job. Like, it's not like a mirror of the day on Monday morning and Monday afternoon, and I'm sitting talking to you because this is all I do. I don't have another nine to five job, which I go and then I try to find some hours in the evening or some Friday after Juma prayer to run a session. This is not that uh, small workshop. So that's why when you talk to professional, human interaction is very important. You've got to understand that if this guy is doing for a living, is this guy is doing this thing for with the whole heart and mind, or the guy just have another job and he's just getting some extra cash on the side on Friday after Juma prayer, you know, and in friend's basement, that's a different thing. So answer to a lot of questions, look at different companies, look at different preparation, look at different people, look at different uh, trainers, and then make a judgment call on your own. I think we have given you a lot of information which helps you to make a judgment on the certification and also on the trainer as well, their capability, their skill level, their commitment, and their you know uh, uh, teaching style and all these things. So I know we're still here, no problem. No. Thank you, Mr. Amran. Now time is coming to end and uh, I'd like to leave the floor now to uh, our colleague, Fahad Zahrani. Fahad, uh, uh -huh. please. Yes, uh, thank you, Abdullah. Uh, just I, what, uh, I would like to clarify that there was a very large number at the beginning of the meeting who could not enter the meeting because it reached to the upper limit. Uh, and this is a really great indication uh, for this uh, yani, uh, two-week seminar. Uh, in general, uh, we expect that there will be a number of seminars uh, in near future, whether, whether in this topic or other topics. Uh, at the last, يعني, we say thank you, Imran, uh, thank you, Blal, thank you, Anna, thank you, Abdullah. And uh, we, we have a small uh, proposal uh, for you, Imran, uh, especially for the Saudi audience, uh, whether, uh, يعني, uh, with regard to, to make some discounts in the prices or additional services <laughs> uh, regarding this topic, inshallah, in the near future. Definitely, definitely, brother. First of all, let me, I'll get you the last point uh, at the end. Um, uh, thank you so much. Really, really humble. It's a great work that you guys are doing, great organization. I was a bit reluctant, believe it or not, in the beginning when uh, <laughs> Brother Abdullah contacted me. And, uh, you know, I was like, I don't know, let's, let's see who they are. And, you know, yes, yes, you are, you're good people. And there were a large response. And I think uh, me and Bilal talked uh, just before the presentation uh, uh, the, of the, uh, uh, this session. We had a very busy, busy last two days, believe it or not. I, I had a big training in New York on Sunday on, uh, on the site safety management refresher course. Uh, I, I prepared 129 slides uh, in one day and then did that. Uh, and Bilal, believe it or not, he's looking tired. He's normally not looking tired. He's normally jumping all over the place. But he was in, uh, uh, in uh, we have a, a, a oil field, OGDCL, our oil gas ministry. He was out there training and got back just because of this uh, today, because there was some signal issue, because when you go to those, uh, uh, you know, those gas fields, uh, for the security reasons, they don't give you too much a bandwidth. So he had to come back to Karachi just for this session. And uh, so we realized this very last minute that there is a huge response on this. And believe it or not, it's kind of embarrassing for us that we couldn't let everybody in. And uh, we should have actually increased the participant. I talked to Bilal at the end and the links were already gone. The candidates are already accepted. I'm like, this is, if we start a new one now, it's gonna create a lot of confusion. 
So our apologies to you, our apologies to all who couldn't join, but we are available. Please, anybody who not joined Brother Brother Fahad, Brother Aziz, Brother Ramdi, you can give them our personal numbers and we owe them. This is my thing to you. We owe them and we will, if they need to conduct another session privately, believe it or not, those 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 people, we can do that anytime. You just pick up a phone call saying, we have 20 people who want to talk to you. No problem at all. Yes, it's embarrassing that we couldn't let everybody in. And uh, again, uh, oh, coming back to your discount, uh, we are giving you two scholarships. We're giving you everything. Let's, let's talk on sidelines and uh, you know, me and you in a, in a group and all these uh, other uh, decision makers. And inshallah, we have a board meeting tomorrow. Uh, uh, and uh, me and Anna and Balal is going to be there. And we'll, we'll discuss more things. And uh, I would like, as I said, we want to do more things. It's not BCSP. It's not the only thing we do. We do other boards as well, NFPA, OSHA, and I'm big on OSHA. I'm you know, running a big show here in the biggest city in the world, New York. I can tell you a lot of different things. We can join hands in a lot of different places. Um, and at the same time, you know, I, I, I'm i very involved in the, in, the, in the current Pakistani government. I was invited by the president of Pakistan to do something with the, in the level of OSHA. I was you know, met with the two governors there. I was invited to the keynote speaker at the Punjab University. So I'm doing a lot of things. I have a lot of resources there where we can join hands. And the uh, idea is to increase the awareness and also increase the awareness about the competency of the trainer, competency of the company that where somebody goes to the young professional, got out of the college or something, don't have a college degree. They go to these professionals who just you know, can do the talk, the talk and try to just get the money. And we are literally against, against this. And, and um, um, there are a lot of other things. There's a, one big news should be coming up uh, very soon, uh, which, is gonna, which is gonna be probably very unique in, in the whole region. I tell you that. Uh, I, would, I, would, I, would, I can promise here, I will tell you the first and before I break to anybody else, but uh, um, let's talk on the sidelines and let's see what we can do. And we look forward to the session. We'll, we'll do the session with you. Uh, some discount we can talk about. It. We'll we make it as feasible as for everybody. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, we got to make sure that there's some. Uh, uh, okay, we can discuss it later. Again, thank you so much, everybody. A great audience. Balal, thank you for coming in all the way from uh, uh, which city were you? I don't even remember the name. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was basically Karachi is the major city, and there was another yeah. major city, Hyderabad. So the field was in the remote area near Hyderabad. Yeah, so we, you, we can call it a lot of fields. Thank you so much. And we yeah. have, in fact, uh, uh, apology from my side as well for the participants who couldn't uh, join due to the uh, limit issue. But the good news is that we have recorded this session, so we can share that one thing. And the second yep. thing is that, uh, as Imran said, we can reconduct this session. And uh, Imran, my suggestion is that uh, there were queries related with the NFPA, CFPS, and CESCP. So yep. uh, let's discuss with Abdullah and company to plan another session on that as well. Exactly, exactly. no problem. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a nice, great evening. Thank, Thank you. you, brother. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, everyone. Allah. 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 Allah.